What's up, nerds on the Renegade Cactus, so you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to Orcs Must Die 2. I was actually, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I was actually thinking, yeah, well, what, why was the camera a bit over there? Um, I was, I was thinking about playing some more in between episodes and upgrading a few of my other traps. But then I thought to myself, you know what? <clears throat> you just finished recording, let's record another one. So I didn't have time. <laughs> Still on my same cup of coffee. Which is, interestingly enough, isn't cold yet. Although I played a 30 minute round of Orcs Must Die before. Let's go to the wind up. I'm scared. Because the farther we go, the more complicated or just cruel everything is. Whee! Goes down there. Except in the end, he was better. What you say is true. <laughs> I may have made poor choices. Those choices are the past. Make different choices now. Hey, did you hear the part where he said I was better? Apprentice. Oh, Woohoo! Yeah! Number one war maid! God, he's so annoying. That's incredible. Alright, you know what? That seems doable. Like we got two very, very short doors. I just have to do murder corridors. Absolutely. Ooh, 10,000 to start with. What, what enemies do we have? Let's see. I'm guessing some gnolls. Yeah, gnolls, of course. Hate those guys. Oh, no, not the hobgoblin shaman. That brings that enemies back to life. And when they say it brings back dead enemies, they mean exactly that. It's not, oh, and now they are skeletons and weak. Nope. If we're talking about the Null Hunter, they can bring back a Null Hunter. I am not sure if they can bring back ogres. I think they can. They probably can. Also not sure about sappers. And then we got Cyclops, Mage, ranged enemies, fires, secret, uh, seeking projectiles. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'm sorry that I start most of my games with just getting rid of everything. It's just that I really, really don't know. I mean, I kind of want to use the Shock Sapper because it kind of looks interesting. As well as the Swinging Maze. Alright. Um, let's start with the usual. I like those. I could go with the Spring Traps because I could just try and throw enemies down there. From here. But then again, it's probably better to just block off here, let them go all the way over here, and just take damage with something. Or not. I'm not sure. But for now, let's leave it. Um, speaking of blocking, absolutely. Blockage, arrow wall, very useful. Um, dart spitter up there, great. Floor scorcher, I think I'll leave that this time. Because looking at the enemies, I mean, most of them would be taking decent amounts of damage. By the way, these guys are not very tanky. But the problem is you don't always see them. And even if you do, they take a few hits, more, uh, at least more than those guys. Like, more in the range of somewhere between medium and heavy orc, I think. And you just you want to find them as quickly as possible. Those guys are definitely beefy. They just don't deal that much damage in my experience. It's just that they have uh, seeking projectiles, which sucks. And those guys are a pain in the ass, but we know that already. Um, so, yeah. Small murder corridor here. You know what? Let's bring this one for now. Let's take archers. Do we want to go for the swing? I don't think so. I don't think it is worth it. Although it... It, it seems to be one of the greatest things. It just it doesn't feel that way to me, at least not yet. Paladin Guardians might not be a bad idea. Just in general. Maybe Dwarf Guardians? I'm not sure about the Guardians right now. You know what? Let's do it like this. Let's do this. Because I absolutely... Are we... Yeah. I absolutely want to start building a murder corridor here. Nothing can go down here. 
Nothing can go down there. That much I know. I mean, maybe a knoll can jump down here, but I highly doubt it. So, in theory, if I were to build a spike corridor all the way... I mean, I wouldn't because... But maybe I will? Just... You know what? We... We... we can still sell stuff afterwards. So if we don't like it, we can just change it. I'm basically doing this because they won't... If, if I only do two, some enemies might just walk like this, which they normally don't. But if they do, here they get at least hit once or twice. Um, so I could just go with this all the way to make sure but that's actually just expensive and doing this hits most enemies absolutely without any doubt now I think again they have quite a long travel distance I want to destroy I want to to completely have this here Ah. Uh, these freaking pillars. I don't like these pillars. Also, later on, I want to... Uh, I, can, I can only block off this bit. So they have to go a bit further around. Not a whole lot, though. As again, I, I already want to do some stuff to the other... Um, don't tell me I cannot put this here. This should, without a doubt... Be, wait, what? Okay, let's let's see. I can put this up there. I know. It won't let me. It, it it Oh, I wow. Because I have equipped the archers and not this thing. Back and forth, back and forth. So this so just soothing. does exactly exactly this. Now the question is would it be better to have two of those like next to each other like this to then throw some back and then throw some no, I don't I think this is better um, yeah and I again absolutely want to have my archers because I always love my archers now let's check out the beginnings of our murder corridor and see if there's anything yeah, I know. Let's see if there's anything we didn't think about. Like, of course, this will not completely keep him. But, I mean, it helps quite a lot. So, with one or two more traps here, we would be pretty good. And, I mean, look at that. that once they're bleeding, they, they do take damage. It's just not for long. So it's, all in all, not a whole lot of damage. Okay. So far, we're doing good. I could, once again, do some blockades, but I think, again, we are doing decently well. Maybe some arrow walls here or there. Maybe one or two uh, fling traps. Would be an interesting idea, I think. Okay, next wave. They still come from here, it seems. <laughs> this will be fun. I'm, I know Stop. I should absolutely build stuff downstairs. Oh, they already come from the second door. That's good to know. Let's just build this one. This is the one with the swinging mace. Which is incredibly strong if it hits. Just takes a while. Okay, I think I am in a basically prime position to to just help because I can see when they leave the murder corridor. Zappers, where? I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? Because by the time they come here, they should either be dead or I see them. I think. So zappers, I. Th think are not a big deal. Yep, I see them, I shoot them, they die with one hit always, and they kill others 
in their wake. That that's pretty great. I, love this job. I just wait, where wait. Oh no, we we already knew about this one. They'll never see it come. Uh, I th think here we just want want them slowed and I don't know stuff. Yeah, yeah, I, I really need more, and by more, I mean mostly more archers in the middle. Because as we know, archers are helpful. What's also very, very helpful in this game is that they always announce mean? sappers. Ah, screw it. Like, th you can't be surprised by sappers unless you don't listen. But then again, you can't be surprised by many things, if you don't listen, right? That's some life advice, I'm amazing. <laughs> uh, oh, Cyclops. And boom goes the dynamite. Hmm. We are... looking fairly well. Um, now, I know I this one this. is not as strong as I would like it to be, because I've actually... Uh, <laughs> I've played the first level, the very first level, a multitude of times, let's say 20 times in the last, like, few days. Because it is very slow, uh, very fast, as in you, it doesn't really take a whole lot of time. And also, um, you get, at, at least the first few times, you get a decent amount of skulls. I think I did the first level, which I already had, I think, 5 start or 5... Skulled, and I got, I think, nine bonus skulls or eight bonus skulls. Next time I played it, I, even six bonus skulls, and from then on, it's it was somewhere between one and three, most of the time one or two. But I just used it to try out different, different, uh, what, try out different tactics. Like, if I was like, oh, this time I want to try it with only Let's archers, which is very possible because. If you just put all your funds towards archers, that's a lot of archers. And if the strongest thing in the first level is just, I think, one or somewhere between one and three medium orcs, that's really nothing. And archers can deal with that no problem. So I played that one a lot. And again, the dart spitter. I love placing it. I love that. Uh, I love the trap. Zappers, okay. I love the trap, in my opinion it's amazing, but I have seen like a wave of orcs coming towards me, running under the dart spitter and taking no damage at all. I've actually seen like three orcs, light orcs, the, the weak ones, just running through without, uh, without taking any damage because they just didn't get hit. And that is something that really sucks. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's do this. Pretty much the same thing here. Oh, look! It's a big one. Okay, that should not be a big problem. That guy should be dead pretty soon. Yep. Okay. I'm totally fine so far. Technically, my. Archers should be able to hit enemies up there. Yeah, Kobolds we know, but when they come from this corridor, there is absolutely no problem because I completely and absolutely see them. Traps at junction points like this. I don't know if junction point is the right word for this, but at points like this are amazing. I always like them. I technically wanted to sell this one, but I didn't really have the time to run over here and do that. There are no enemies coming th from other sides. And again, I mean, take a look at that. We are doing pretty well, which means I'll just do the same thing, but more. Uh, no, please let me, let me, ah, oh, damn it. What? Screw it. Let's do it like this again. Uh, down there we will just do more spikes. Because by the time they come up here, they should be mostly dead. Okay, I 
I mean, I don't want to jinx it, but for now, it's actually no big deal. Try this on for and I would even say it's way easier than other uh, maps so far. But then again, we still we are only halfway through, so there might be a few. Yeah. See, those guys, they don't nearly take as much damage as an ogre. They're still, uh, oh, they're still strong. Aha! Uh -huh. Saw you. And these guys, they don't die right away, sadly. I'm concerned. I'm slightly concerned because it's going so well. Now, I think, for now, that this place is mostly secure. I just, I want to... Jump down here, absolutely. I just needed to check it out first where we are, where the ground is. Do I want to keep it like this or... I? Yeah, sure. I want more archers, just to be safe. First, I need more coffee, although I'm actually... I'm, I'm feeling tired, but energetic. So basically, screw coffee. It's so bad. It's a bad habit. I shouldn't do it. But I wanted to record today. I'm not in the need to record today because I can also record tomorrow. It's not that big of a deal. But I really wanted to record today. So I thought, you know what? It's now, by now it's 8 p.m. Sure, drink a big coffee. Like, a big mug. That, again, that's not a small mug. Like, look at the size of my mug and the mug. That's joke. As in Mark and Mark, you know, haha, -ha, comedy. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It feels, I, I feel a bit. So that just yeah. happened. Interesting. I know I didn't just say I feel interesting. I, th I feel a bit, and then I said interesting. It's two different let's things. Roll. Okay, let's say this part up there is completely under control. And the thing is, since the main, like the main. Uh, Hall, or there is just one Nexus, which is great. By the way, I can. Oh, you piece of shit. Um, a great thing that I never really talked about because I completely forgot it until I saw it in the video. I can stand right next to the Nexus and heal. Oh, Zapras, hello. No, thank you. Still don't really have too much. Good stuff against Zappers. Like the uh -huh. the best thing against Zappers is basically fast firing attacks. I just don't really have many of those. Just to be sure. Uh, and for down here, I don't think. Ah, uh, shit. Let's do this. Because down here I don't really have much, but as soon as they come up here, they are in the sights of my snipers. That thing up here, the swinging maze, is actually way better than I thought. I might even try to get a second one of them. Also, oh wait. Against the sappers? That should do nicely. Because they can only be so fast. And if they are... This will be good. Wow. And if they are slowed here, the spike wall should hit them. Uh, just to make it pretty even. Same here, just to make it even again. Uh, there was something I misplaced. Yeah, that, that doesn't look good. I don't like it. Take it away. Like, you know what? Let's do... This, that doesn't really help a whole lot. The idea is um, that it would be like first spike traps, tar traps, spike traps, tar traps to help your traps have more time to do stuff. I could technically sell those barricades. In theory, the thing is I won't do that. I also want to get rid of one thing so that I can place one of those mazes. Mazes. Which I think I just want to have here. 
And I mean, do I really need to slow him down when I got stuff like this? The answer is yes. Right below stuff like this. Right? Let's go. I mean, in theory, it makes sense. Let's see if it also makes sense in practice. Set a lightning storm, set it and forget it, basically. No. Oh. That's actually working incredibly well. Do you actually... Okay, yeah. The hobgoblins can actually uh, revive the big ones. Yeah, oh shit, oh shit. Please don't, please don't. Did we start with 25 or with 30? I don't know. I couldn't tell you with how many lives we started. No. <laughs> you stop right there. Okay. Now they always go for this side, so... Yeah, that might just be a bit too much. Just to be safe, I guess. Um... Also, for anyone who just gets through there. Yeah, let's do it like this. I think that's good for now. Let's shoot some lightning in there for now. Hobgoblin. I, I see the green light of a hobgoblin. Oh, two hobgoblins, of course. Why would you need one when you can have two, right? Uh, okay, I see someone almost coming through. Okay, it was just a light orc, so no problem. You're in the wall. That's great. You look great there. Now... One thing that, I mean, it completely makes sense. There is really no shock to that. But any enemies that give you coins, like the Cyclops, if they get killed and uh, revived, they don't give you coins again. Also, one thing that I talked or tried to talk about, but completely forgot, you can stand next to the Nexus to heal yourself. I tried to start a sentence about that. I don't know if I ever finished it. I might have. Right up. Doesn't matter though. Okay. Um, Down below. Yep, see it. Don't really care though. Because that guy is about to go down. Which is nice. Sappers. Okay. But from up above, I'm guessing not from the sides. Oh, no. They are actually coming from the sides. That's interesting. And a medium orc almost coming through. I love that sappers can actually hurt their own guys. That's the best thing ever. <laughs> also, let's build some stuff. Uh, that was it. That was slightly stressful, but actually really easy. That is... Huh. Void wall. Anything thrown in dies instantly. But I'm guessing it has just a little, very little um, area of effect. Huh. Interesting, interesting. Okay, there were two things that I still haven't completely upgraded. The Dwarf Guardian, that much I know. Yeah, the, 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 the staff. Stone staff. Because they stay stoned longer and deal more damage to stone targets. Which is great. I was thinking about the other unique uh, Stone Staff secondary attack has a larger area of effect, but really, it's a really good area of effect, so... That's pretty good so far. It seems actually like we are about to play the last level. Interesting. So I would say I'm gonna end the episode a bit short, which is good because... Yes? <laughs> And next time, we're gonna have ourselves a lovely little finale so far. Like, this is a game that I can see myself just playing for long, for a very long time, and just in between making episodes. And just like I'm doing with Hades now, with one episode per week, or maybe just sporadically, whenever I feel like it, just play one ep or uh, record one episode, put it out. But I think as soon as we're done with the story, this playthrough will come to an end probably and stuff like the dlc or whatever we will maybe just do 
another time or in between or just do a special i don't know but again this this seems this feels like a good game to just be done for now and just sprinkle in whenever i feel like oh yeah probably see you in the finale that's interesting thank you guys so much for watching i'm renegade cactus and i gotta run bye bye